My game is releasing in two weeks, and I still have a lot of work to do, so in today's video I'm going to be taking some of your ideas and adding them into my game. But before we start the video, please, if you guys like the look of my game, pop on over to Steam and wishlist it. It would make my day. The first item that I was going to add was requested by my friend who goes by Seagull on Discord. He says, an item that gives you a chance to reflect an enemy bullet as a friendly bullet that damages enemies. I instantly thought of ricocheting uh, for the item, so I called it ricochet, and uh, it creates a little radius around the character uh, that whenever a bullet uh, lands in between, uh, it will roll a number between 0 and 100, uh, and then if that number is lower than your than half your luck plus an amount that I put on screen, then it will uh, prevent the damage and uh, reflect that bullet uh, back on the enemy. I also added a cool little uh, splash kind of particle effect to make it a little, a little bit cooler. And what you're seeing on screen now is it working with max luck, so it's it's reflecting a pretty much all bullets that are coming towards it, with only letting a few through. Uh, that is possible with the Infinity Leaf Clover, uh, or a shitload of four leaf clovers. Uh, yeah, we're skipping that one. The next idea was to add a shotgun, and this came from Domino Spots on Discord. I didn't think this idea really suited an item, so for some reason beyond my comprehension, I decided to recode a portion of my game and turn the idea into an extra character. Uh, so yeah, my game now supports multiple characters, uh, which took me an hour instead of the 20 minutes I thought this idea would take. However, the shotgun feels really cool to use and has some great benefits when used with items such as Hive Mind, uh, where the more bullets you have technically is a lot better in every way. I quickly whipped up some character icons to represent the weapons each character uses, then implemented that into the character system. Altogether, this took maybe 10 minutes, but it wasn't too hard. I then asked my friend for one more good idea because I told him that I didn't think pregnancy system is gonna cut it. Uh, so he gave me some good, good ideas, he gave me a shield, uh, and maybe abilities. So we'll add the shield in because I feel like that is a pretty cool idea. I started by creating a simple sprite for this shield just to have some sort of graphic that the player can look at which is anything other than a box. Uh, and the rest was very self-explanatory, it's very simple code, and all the rest of the functionality is already in the game for a shield, so it's basically just a free item I've added into my game. And uh, using it in-game, it looks really good and it works perfectly fine. Other fixes made in this video was making the background grid actually infinitely tile and giving functionality to the in-game menu buttons. Before I end the video, if you guys want your ideas in my game, go to the link in the description, join the Discord, and there is a channel where you can put your ideas, it will be labelled uh, Game Ideas Channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, it wasn't super long, but I just wanted to give kind of an update on what I've been working on my game and how everything's going. If you enjoyed the video or my game, uh, <laughs> please go wishlist it on Steam, it would make my day subscribe and like the video and I'll see you guys next time.